Hi guys, this is Katrina and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel if you're an old time subscriber and I'd like to say welcome if you are new here. And in this video y'all, I am going to be trying out a new product by The Do. Um, I was super excited to see that they were coming out with this particular styler and they did come out with some other products as well. I believe it's like an edge control or something. But what really piqued my interest was the B Girl Super Charged Honey Curl Custard right here. And um, I hadn't watched any videos on it except for Happy Curl, Happy Girls video. Um, she recently posted um, her review of this product and what she said was that this custard had a very, very good hold and it had a good crunch to it. So I was like, I wonder how it will match up with the actual gel from the Dew, which is their Big Papa, and this is what that looks like. So what I'm doing in this video today, y'all, is doing a battle between B-Girl and Big Papa. So I have already reviewed this gel on my channel and I'll have that video linked in the cards as well as in the description box for you to check it out. Um, but yeah, I am just going to do like a little battle between these two products just to see like what my results will be. Um, yes, like I said, this is a custard and this is the gel, but because of the hold and the crunch that Happy Curl, Happy Girl got, I was like, I wonder how it would match up to the big pop-up. So, um, as you can see, um, my hair is in a bun and it is time for some TLC for my hair. Um, so what I'm going to go in with for my wash day is the No Scrubs Exfoliating Shampoo here. And I'm going to go in with the five minute deep conditioner from that line as well. And y'all, let me tell you, so I do have the Woe Deep Conditioning Mask as well, and I have still not tried it. Um, so I think instead of this um, five minute deep conditioner here, I might go ahead and use this. Um, if you have tried this deep conditioner, comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. But I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I'll figure it out when I get in the shower and I will definitely let you guys know what I do decide to try. So once I'm done washing and deep conditioning my hair, I'll come back and we will start applying these two stylers to each side of my head so we can see how they compare to each other. So just stay tuned. Okay, so I am done shampooing and deep conditioning my hair. Um, so I did end up using both of the deep conditioners. I went in with the um, five minute deep conditioner kind of as a conditioner after my shampoo. And then I just wanted a little bit more hydration. So I did go ahead and try the Woe deep conditioning mask. And overall, I thought it was a pretty good mask. It gave me slip. I was able to easily detangle my hair, so no complaints about it. And it gave me the moisture that I needed. So now, what we're getting to today is the um, styling portion of the video. And like I said, I'm gonna be using the B Girl on this side of my hair. And I'm gonna be using the Big Papa Gel on this side of my hair. Both of these stylers do say to apply to clean, damp hair, um, so I did not apply a leave-in or anything in my hair, which I do usually like to do, but I just want to go ahead and follow the directions as they are. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and take this plastic cap off of my hair, and I just had that on there just so I could keep the moisture in my hair because first off, I didn't apply a leave-in conditioner, and second off, I just wanted to apply the product to wet hair without having to reapply with a water bottle. Um, but if I have to, I will get a water bottle. Um, so let's just go ahead and take my hair down. And this is what my hair is looking like with no product. And it looks pretty good. Curls are super duper defined. Um, so yeah, let me just go ahead and split this in half. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the consistency is like. And 
this is what it looks like. It does have movement to it. And the smell of it is just like a regular like smell. I don't smell like anything sweet or anything. Nothing really stands out. It just smells plain and regular. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the consistency is. So as you can see, it does have kind of like a stringy type consistency. And I think it is a little bit thicker than other custards that I have used, such as the Pattern um, Beauty Styling Custard. But this is what it looks like, kind of snotty. But what we are going to do, I am going to start with this much on this section here. And it is, yeah, it kind of feels like a gel though it is a custard. So let's just go ahead and apply it to this section. So as I am applying it with just that amount, this is what it is doing to my hair. Not bad, but I'm definitely going to need some more. It is clumping it. And just keep working that in. As you can see, I definitely do need to apply more because this part right here is still frizzy. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get some more, maybe about this much here. Apply it to those roots. I'm just kind of working it in. And as you can see, like it is like providing like a lot of shine. So yeah, that definitely did the trick. All right, so this is what it is doing. There's the clumpage. Look at that piece right there. All right, so, and as you can see, I'm just going to kind of like just separate those big sections that have clumped together. This one in the back. All right, so that is that side right there. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply the custard to the rest of this section. And then once I'm done with that, I'll come back and then we'll apply Big Papa on this side. Okay, so I am done applying the B Girl to this side here. And so far, the definition is absolutely there. Um, I had no issues with applying the custard to my hair, especially when I got up to the front where my hair has started to dry. Um, I was still able to apply the custard to my hair as well as um, run my fingers through the section to get that curl definition going. So now I am going to go ahead and apply Big Papa to this side and let's just see what the initial um, comparison is between the two as far as application and definition goes. So let's just get the same section like we did with, um, with B Girl. This is what <coughs> Big Papa looks like. And as you can see, I've been using this gel as well as my daughter. My daughter more than me though. But yeah, this is what the gel looks like. 
and the gel looks like this and actually the consistency is a little bit um, lighter than the custard although it is still thick but when I rub my fingers together with it it's more of a looser consistency but it's still thick but just looser than the B girl so let's go ahead and apply Big Papa And I will say that Big Papa smells much better than a Big Girl. And as you can see, I am getting more clumpage with the gel at first when I applied it. will say that I know this back section is more um, wet but it is going on much easier mm. that looks good too now y'all that looks real good too <laughs> and so far like I like the way the big papa um, looks on my hair at this moment than the um, better than the B girl and it is like more elongating as well this is gonna be interesting so let's just go ahead and finish applying Big Papa to the side and we will compare in a few girl out just yet because we all know the true test is when my hair has completely dried um, but as of right now B girl has caused some shrinkage and Big Papa my hair is still elongated but that's because I just finished applying it I'm pretty sure it might shrink some once it um, begins to dry but so far as far as wet results go I am liking the Big Papa side better. So once my hair has completely dried, I'll come back and let you guys see what my hair is looking like. Okay, so my hair has completely dried. And y'all, the side, B-Girl side, she is crispy. You hear me? The B-Girl custard is super duper crispy. Do y'all see that? Like crispy. And look at this one right here. This is a little crunchity, a little crunchity. You see how, see that? It's not even moving. And the big papa side, now it does have a hole to it, but it is nowhere um, as crunchy, as crispy as the big girl side. So, and then with the dry results, I think I still like the big papa side better. Um, but, what we are about to do now is I'm just gonna put my satin scrunchies on my hair to break that cast and to stretch my hair out and then I will come back tomorrow and let you guys see what the final results look like now I did also want to add that um, the directions do say to um, sit under a hooded dryer or diffuse I don't usually do either so I just you know went ahead and let my hair air dried 
um, but I still got like the same like it's hard y'all like it's crunchy so the hold is definitely there even though I didn't sit up under a dryer or diffuse um, but we will see how my hair looks in the morning so I'm just gonna take these scrunchies right here and just get to scrunching <laughs> is the next day and it's time to take out these little scrunchies and see what big girl and big papa look like on each side now as I'm taking this one um crunchy out or this one section out my hair does still have like um like a very hard cast on it and I don't know if y'all can tell or not but I am getting um some little flakes too y'all see them flying around in the air I don't know if that is just the initial oof, oof. flakes y'all B girl is flaking okay so for the B girl side I love the definition um, I do like the fact that there is still some shine on this section here um, but the only con for B girl is that she's flaking so let's just go ahead to Big Papa's side and take him down. Alright, so as I'm separating Big Papa, it is much more easier to separate. Um, it's barely a um, like a cast on my hair. just like in one spot but as I'm separating it like it's just going away um, I don't see any flakes so that's what that section is looking like right now let's go ahead and take this out okay y'all so this is what Big Papa is looking like and I think Big Papa won this one. Do y'all see the difference, Big Girl and Big Papa? Like as far as first day results go, like Big Papa is the win for me. We don't have any flakes or anything. I do have more like volume on day one with Big Papa, um, which I do like. I still have the definition there as well. I will come back tomorrow and let you guys see what my hair is looking like and if there are any more flakes falling on this side and just what my overall thoughts are. So I will see you guys in this little next clip that's coming up. Okay, so it is the next day and as you can see, I put my hair up in a pineapple last night. So let's see how these two different sides are looking. taking my hair down like I still do see the flakes falling for a big girl just gonna kind of separate a little bit and I will also say that there's still some 
um, slight crunch to my hair, nothing major, but it is still, you know you can probably kind of tell it's still pretty firm. So now let's look at Big Papa. This is what he is looking like. Got a little bit more frizz in this area here. I'm still getting the voluminous look on this side okay so this is what the two sides are looking like and right off the bat y'all I still think that I like the big papa side better I do like the definition on this side but at the same time I like the definition on this side as well and I guess it's you know basically just a preference of what you want your hair to look like on that particular day but me I'm all for a voluminous look um, so I am going to choose the big papa side I will say that both sides do feel moisturized they don't feel like dry or anything I definitely think that B Girl is worth a try. I mean, it gave me bomb results, you know, except for the fact that I got flakes. But when I was watching Happy Curl, Happy Girls video, she did not get any flakes. So I don't know if it had anything to do with the amount of the custard that I applied to my hair or what. But this particular time, as far as first impressions go, we got flakes on this side. So comment down below and let me know if you have tried the Bee Girl already and if you got flakes with it. And also let me know if you've tried the Big Papa as well. Big Papa has been out longer than Bee Girl. Um, so yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are and what your favorite gel is, gel slash custard is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this comparison for the simple fact that this product had a lot of hold for it to be a custard. The claims are that you'll get the tightest curls with no crunch, which I got, and no flakes, which I got. So like I said, maybe it's just the amount of custard that I applied. Um, I don't know. But anywho, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so before you go. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.